good evening friends uh, uh, this video is uh, going to talk about the arrays and uh, a very powerful actually uh, technique uh, I would say that it's a more of a looping without knowing any VBA you can actually do a lot of things uh, through arrays uh, if you know them and uh, as I said in my every video uh, you can watch my uh, in fact you know the videos on my this uh, go to my playlist and uh, watch uh, this uh, you know playlist uh, which talks about the arrays arrays most powerful formulas in excel uh, i have uploaded so far five videos over there and uh, you can watch all the five videos uh, if you want to know what exactly you know they are uh, i have introduced them and i have uh, done a quite you know complex task uh, by using the arrays which uh, generally you can't do actually in case if you uh, don't know the vba right so similarly we have uh, this uh, task what we actually want to do is uh, we want to sum up the uh, strength of the student uh, which falls in the lower half right so as you can see here i have here 18 uh, you know rows so i want to prepare a formula which can actually sum up you know the last nine values exactly the half of this you know the lower half i mean to say right and uh, not necessarily uh, these you know th these are actually these are the employee ids uh, or maybe the team numbers whatever you want to say so it does not actually have to be the unique id the point is this you maybe we have this employee id on the row two and then maybe we have this on the you know second half which starts after this uh, ninth you know so what we actually want to do is we want to sum up all these uh, you know the strength of these ids or maybe whatever your header says about it so how you can actually do it and if this data tomorrow expands you know then your formula should check automatically all the things right for example uh, let's say if i'm going to delete this um, maybe uh, these rows then automatically my this data should sum up these numbers right so let's uh, build this formula and let's see how we actually can do this and uh, you will be surprised to see that you know how we can actually uh, run the loop generally we run the loop in the VBA but in arrays also you can get the all the you know uh, different different values in just one cell so what I'm going actually going to do is the first thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to count these you know cells what exactly is their count so I'll get the to uh, you know total 13 entries over here and uh, so maybe let me just add some one more m entry to make it 14 but otherwise it doesn't actually uh, make any changes in the formula if it is 13 that's fine uh, you can divide it with the 2 so we'll get the 7 now 7 means that we actually want to sum up the 7 rows from the last right so possibly from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 right so we should actually get our sum 2 9 4 3 and if it is going to be increased then again this number should be changed accordingly right first uh, let's prepare the formula and then we'll see what exactly we can do so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the position of these functions with the help of the match function right so I'll say that uh, this should be matched in this entire table I'm simply using the match function exact match and press enter control shift enter right if you if you're not aware about the what are the basic rules of the arrays please watch those videos in uh, you know under my playlist you will come to know so now I have all the positions of these elements uh, this hundred is at one and then 33 is at 2 and so on till 667 right I have all the your these elements and uh, I have got all their positions right so now what exactly I want to do is uh, let me just uh, change this to 766 right uh, so that we should get actually the numbers properly I assume that uh, you know you know the function uh, this match you know you was uh, match actually does what match actually returns the position if you want to find this position of the hundred in this local value in this table you say that you know in this table just find out the position of the b2 which is hundred so it will give you the position of the hundred right but in arrays uh, what exactly you can do is uh, you can get all the cell values you know in just one uh, you know, this in this one cell as you can see here I'm pressing F9 and I'm getting all the row, num row numbers of these you know cells right so this uh, data has uh, one uh, you know a distinction that or I would say a rule that you know let me just change the numbers the numbers are not going to be repeated otherwise we'll have to prepare some different formula right so let me just change these numbers uh, maybe let's say this is thousand and that's it right so uh, 
now I have matched all the numbers one by one in this table and I have got all the positions as you can see here F9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 till 14 right so what I'll do is I'll say that if if this formula which is giving me the positions of every cell if it is greater than this which is a 7 right so obviously it means if the position is greater than 7 then I want actually those you know cells in my this uh, table uh, so I'll select this entire table in my value of true otherwise if it is not then it should give me maybe space or it should give me zero right control shift enter again now let's see what will happen let's press F9 now check out all these values whatever the first seven values one two three four five six seven they are all now zero right because their position their the cell position 133 44 66 7 7 8 they all actually are falling you know below the seven right so all the values which comes after this seven one zero one nine one zero two nine I have got them here one zero one nine one zero two nine one zero three nine and so on right so now what I'll actually do is I'll simply go ahead and sum these values and I'll get my value so we can sum up and we can check that whether you were correct or wrong so let's check the sum uh, as you can okay all right so we have 8343 uh, so might be because 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 yeah my mistake this is actually the 7 the last 7s are you know these number of elements as you can see here the count is 7 and I've got this the sum is 7343 so this is how you can actually uh, using the array formulas you can check the you know lower half you know this you can sum the values from the lower half now let's try to uh, uh, you know let me just copy paste this and let me add some more numbers over here maybe 200 201 202 whatever and some numbers here right now let's check whether our result is correct so as you can see here it has automatically you know converted this 7 to 9 so since we have total 18 rows here excluding the headers so it has given me the you know half of this and now the formula says it the answer has to be 5295 so let's start with this uh, uh, row 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so from here we'll start and we'll select the 9 elements and we'll see there uh, what exactly the sum right so now we have their count 9 and the sum is 6104 so 6104 means uh, it is I guess uh, adding this number as well so let's uh, let's see that there should be no duplicacy that's what actually we need to ensure uh, I have here 1039 495 and 200, 201, 203, 205. Why this is not uh, getting repeated anywhere? All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and from here six, one, zero, four. So it's actually giving me some different kind of a number, right? So let's check if we have given the correct range. So I'm saying that B22, oh, all right, so my, my bad, you know, this range was not selected properly, right? So maybe I can give this range to 100, okay? I can keep the extra buffer. So we got the error, that's a good thing, right? This is how you get yourself trained on the Excel. Now let's press Control Shift Enter, okay? And uh, let's uh, check that why exactly we're getting the error here uh, maybe if I do it let's say to 50 and over here again I do it with the 50 and here I again with the do 50 control shift enter so I'm getting the error right so maybe we can build this formula again and let's check it, it is going to be a revision for you so I'm saying that match these number of elements okay and uh, all right I got the point actually what we did is we selected this you know extra so if you're eventually if you're going to find the space of a uh, something which is not written there for example like this in this table 
you will get error right so let me just undo and show it what exactly we were doing it uh, when I said B100 so space cannot be you know uh, Excel cannot find the position of the space and that's why it, it was giving the error right so it's a good exercise uh, so we can do one thing uh, we can take this to B19 which is my last cell okay and now we can press control shift enter so we got the answer 6104 and let me check if this is the answer yeah so as you can see here I have the count of 9 and this is going to be 1079 uh, sum of 6104 which I'm getting here right so what I did is I said that you know match generally when you use the normal function you can only find the position of one cell but when you do the arrays you can actually say that you know find all these lookup values and this lookup array which is again this and give me the exact match and when you press control shift enter it will actually give you all the positions 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on right once you get the positions you just need to tell them that if any of the position is uh, greater than 9 right which means that you are telling that start from here you know bel uh, the values which are less than this 9 not the below but less than this 9 it should be actually converted to 0 and the values which are above 9 they should actually have those values back so I said that if if my the match uh, this function is greater than this value right then give me this array this array otherwise give me 0 normal if and uh, you know normally function which has true and false components so I'll press control shift enter and now I'll press F9 and as you can see all the first nine elements are now 0 and the rest of the elements are available and then I said that you know sum up these values in my table control shift enter and this is how I actually got the answer right so this is how and similarly you can up, uh, if I change this to you know uh, if I do this less than 9 or less than this if I change it then this is going to be for the first half right 4039 so this is very interesting actually you know let's uh, check this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and nine right so these are the nine values and the sum is 5062 I'm, I'm getting this because I've said that less than nine right so maybe I can say it's equals to nine right yeah equals to nine so now you have got the correct answer you can see here that I have got the upper count is nine and the sum is 5062 so this formula will be applicable only when you have these strength as a unique you know they are not repeated because then otherwise what will happen is this hundred if it is repeat getting repeated here somewhere here it will not give the uh, 12 position of this 100 right because Excel is going to find this 100 on the very first row and it will revert you give you the answer 1 for that thing if that is a scenario don't use this formula maybe then something else we can develop but since I haven't got any such inquiry so far so this is what I have got actually somebody wanted to get the sum of the lower half and the you know upper half using some function or maybe the VBA code so I just did it with the using array and so normally you avoid VBA uh, you know as long as you're quite comfortable with the Excel when Excel is giving you the output you generally avoid writing the code but at the end of the day it is all you know up to you how you want to do the things so I have prepared an array so this is how you can actually do the things so ensure that in your range there should be no black entry because if it is going to be a black entry then you'll get the error as I you know uh, showed you that the for the blank entry there is no position which can be returned right so that's it for now guys and uh, that's my youtube channel as i was telling you please watch these five videos as well and you can do go to any other playlist as well uh, condition formatting uh, vbn all in one go uh, 65 videos are uploaded for the excellent vba in fact it is now 75 videos uh, i have i have not actually uploaded i think a couple of videos in, into this playlist but you can watch it uh, you know simply by going to my uh, channel and uh, click on my name over there and then you can watch according to your requirement and that's my email id don't forget forget to write me in in case if you have any questions thank you so much bye bye